Hello everyone, here is another video with Orcube channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about nucleophilic aromatic substitution reaction. Aryl halides can go through the nucleophilic aromatic substitution reaction if they have electron withdrawing group on their ortho or para position. This electron withdrawing group should be a strong electron withdrawing group like NO2, like cyanide, aldehyde, and so on. It doesn't need to be three group. Even one group is enough for performing this reaction and the groups on ortho they have more effect and the reaction are easier when we have electron with the right group in ortho position this type of aryl halide can react with nucleophile and nucleophile can expelling the leaving group leaving group normally in this reaction are fluorine chlorine bromine and iodine the mechanism for this reaction, it is not SN1 and it is not SN2. It's not SN1 because SN1, we need to have carbocation and formation of carbocation on benzene ring or phenyl carbocation is very unlikely and it's very unstable. The reaction, it is not also SN2 because backside approach of leaving group it's impossible and nucleophile cannot attack from the backside of leaving group. The mechanism is two step in this reaction. Addition of nucleophile and elimination of leaving group. I'm going to explain the mechanism by this compound. The first step, nucleophile attack to this carbon. This carbon has positive charge due to the inductive effect of chlorine. And then push this high bond to the ortho position we have negative charge on this carbon next to the cyanide group and then nucleophile is also here this negative charge can make resonance with this electron with the right group cyanide and we have another resonance form for this anion So this resonance form causes a stability of this anion. The name of this intermediate is Meisenheimer complex. The negative charge on nitrogen can go back and form the cyanide group again. Then this double bond, this pi bond, go back and form the aromaticity of ring and it causes expelling of chlorine and we have the final product. Then we have C triple bond again here. We have the double bond forms inside the benzene ring. And instead of chlorine right now, we have our nucleophile. When we have electron with the right group like cyanide on ortho position or on para position, this negative charge can make resonance form and form this Meisenheimer complex. But if we have electron with the right group on meta position, when nucleophile adds to the benzene ring, this cyanide group cannot make resonance with this negative. So this anion is very unstable and normally doesn't form. So if we want to have nucleophilic aromatic substitution reaction, the electron with the right group, they always should be on ortho or para position regarding the leaving group. Let's have some example for this reaction. Here are the first two examples. For first example, we have chlorine as a leaving group and on its ortho and para position, we have electron with the right group. Nucleophile can easily attack to this carbon and we have nucleophilic aromatic substitution reaction or NAS. For writing the product, we don't need to draw the mechanism. So all we need to do is replacing of leaving group with our nucleophile. So NO2 here. NO2 here and NO2 here then instead of chlorine we should have OH but this compound is a phenol and phenol are acidic 
So in reality, when we perform this reaction, because it is under basic condition, instead of having OH, we get phenoxide ion. So instead of phenol, we have its salt. So always when we have reaction with sodium hydroxide, we should have one extra step to acidifying the reaction. By acidifying the reaction, we can convert this salt to the phenol product. For second example, our living group is bromine and we have electron withdrawing group on ortho positions, 2 and O2. So this compound is also eligible for NAS reaction. Our nucleophile in this reaction is methoxide anion OCH3. So OCH3 can easily kick the bromine out of the structure and this is the structure for final product NO2 and NO2 here and we have OCH3 here in this example again we have coloring as a living group and on ortho and para position we have a strong electron with the drawing group our nucleophile is SCH3 so we can easily have reaction this is the structure for our product CN and CN and instead of chlorine we have SCH3 next example here our living group is chlorine and we have two electron with the right group and O2 but they are not on the right position they should be on ortho or para position regarding to the living group so we don't have the condition for performing nucleophilic aromatic substitution reaction this reaction won't happen and the answer is no reaction for this example we may have product from this reaction by another mechanism by benzene if we have a harsher condition I explain benzene in separate video and you can find the link of that video below in the description. Here is the next example. In this example, we have 2 and 4 dinitrofluorobenzene. This compound also known as a Sanger's reagent and it's used for labeling of NH2 group on proteins and peptides and finding the sequence of amino acid in proteins. Fluorine normally is not living group and we never had fluorine in SN1 and SN2. But it can also be easily replaced by nucleophile because fluorine is a bad living group, but it also has a strong electronegativity. So it implies a very positive charge on this carbon and addition of nucleophile to this carbon gets easier. So NH2 group is nucleophile and can attack here and after addition and elimination mechanism, fluorine leaving the structure. So here we have NO2, here we have NO2, and then here we have NHHCH3, and nitrogen get positive charge. So to neutralizing this compound, we normally add more than one mole of amine, or we treat this reaction with base. So base can take one of these hydrogen and form the final product. As a result, this compound, this cation, lose one hydrogen, and then we get this product. Here is another example, and again we have nitro groups on ortho and para position of this chlorine. But this chlorine, it doesn't have any electron with the right group on its ortho or para. So only this chlorine is going to react in this reaction. Then we have an O2 here, an O2 here. So this chlorine remain unchanged during this reaction, but this chlorine can easily be replaced by ethoxide anion. So O ethyl attack and kick chlorine out of a structure. Then we get this product. Here is the same boromine. It is on right place for NAS reaction, but chlorine it is not. 
So bromine will be replaced by ammonia but not chlorine. So in our product, chlorine remain unchanged. We have NO2 here and NO2 here. Then instead of bromine, we have NH2. Like the other example for methylamine, first we get NH3 positive when we perform this reaction. But because we normally use more than one mole of ammonia, then the second ammonia neutralize this intermediate, take one hydrogen, act as a base. So in our final product, we have two hydrogen, NH2. In NAS reaction, we are also able to use phenoxide anion as a nucleophile. So like this example, this phenol and sodium hydroxide, they react a lot faster. So sodium hydroxide is not going to react with ortho-nitro-bromobenzene because this reaction is a slow reaction. It takes time, but acid-base reaction is always has priority. So as a result, this phenol converts to phenoxide. So we have O negative here. And this O negative can easily react and nitro it is on right place so we can have NAS reaction in our product instead of bromine we are going to have phenoxide ion so nitro it is on its right place instead of bromo we have O then I just write it in this way So by this type of reaction, we can also synthesize aromatic ether. And here is the last example. Again, because we have phenol on the basic condition, this OH turns to O negative. Then here we have chlorine as a leaving group, and we have a ketone group as an electron with the rind group. And it is on para position. So we can have NAS reaction. O negative. Attack and kick chlorine out of this structure. We have this acetophenone. Instead of chlorine, we have O. Then O attached to the benzene ring. And para position of O, we have OCH3. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel to get more tutorial videos.